invites today to Grayson County and other places. And I, I figured my hackers in those places um, were monitoring me because of the sightings here on my property. But I, I look at this guy who said that he he was abducted by aliens. I never paid attention to abduction stories. But I have noticed now that what I call demons, most people don't notice. I've, it's weird. I don't know if what happened to me, but all of a sudden I'm able to see things other people can't see. I can look in the sky and photograph a gazillion faces and things. Other people look up and see a cloud. I can look at a person and see them covered with demons and other people look at them and think they have, they have clear skin. I'm seeing things in photos other people just can't see. Now, this is this man who said he was abducted by aliens. Okay, do you see the different faces all over him? I paused this interview. Abducted, examined, and dropped him back. I know it is the Antichrist, and I believe it's demons. But when I see other faces, of course, they look beautiful like aliens, and they're beautiful ladies, and... You know, it, it's like a combination of good and evil. I don't, I don't know that all these entities aren't evil. I, some of them just look ethereal, and of course, from a higher place, maybe another galaxy or planet. I did have a dream a long time ago of this Antichrist type character, and he had a wormhole that he was powerfully able to create in the galaxy, and he was bringing in all of these entities of shapes and different sizes I've never seen. And when I photograph things on my land, some people say they're fairies. But when I, what it mostly comes down to is a devil who is, he looks like kind of a lizard in the eyes. He looks like Stephen King. Sometimes he even looks like Obama because Stephen King and Obama, you'd be amazed in this art, look almost like the same face. Some people say, oh, it's raw. Obama's raw. It's linked to the Sphinx. Some people say Putin is linked to the Sphinx or Dmitry Medvedev. They say, according to history, it would be him as the Antichrist, the way his name is spelled. I, I really, I could question forever. I don't want to go to territory where I'm not welcome. And I don't like to trespass on other people's territory. But when people come here and do terrible things to me, I have a right to use my voice. And I know when the sinkhole happened at the zoo, I went there and afterwards, I didn't go there just because of sinkhole. I just happened to be there right around the time. And I had been to the zoo in years and I took pictures and I noticed that they'd already built, they'd already built places in the zoo to represent human sacrifice because children, these demons are drawn to children. Anywhere there's children, John Saul put these demons, I think, in his book, Midnight Voices. And it was just hidden. And the, the, the photos I take here are Panuzu. And Panuzu was in the exorcist thing. Google's been putting out exorcist search engine things. Google also, one New Year's Eve, had Dracula, Little Red Riding Hood, um, and Linda Blair Wolf picture from the exorcist movie, which tells me Hollywood and the government has known about this Antichrist for years. I'm the first person that actually took pictures of the Antichrist. I've got him here in Kentucky, and he's got a huge wingspan. And so there's a reason that I'm getting these photos and all these things are communicating with me. It says it's because I'm the only one that knew it. That's what it's told me. Even it talks to me on the computer too. It says, you're the, um, you're the only one that knew me. And I want you to show me what love is. And it also, um, it, it, that's why it says it's revealing itself. But I think it's kind of the age, the, the place we are now in time. Through history, man would have never been this weak or this stupid depraved, evil, thoughtless, just totally stupid. In the past, people had more value and self-worth, um, self-respect before cyber world just kind of got to their brain. It connected us to the beast. When Apollo went up and dedicated space to Pan, it, the, the, you know, the Antichrist was more or less invited by mankind, and that sealed man's fate. You know, once you let something that's not human into your realm, you die. And things aren't improving. And now nature is is falling in place to show the destroyers here, destroying God's beauty and God's creation, man and the planet. 
No one wants to put the pieces together because too many empires have been built off of this evil force. And even at the zoo now, they have this thing called the witch house. Well, there's a witch in this town. I've even photographed her face on my swimming pool tarp where they say there's a portal to another dimension. There's also a portal out back. I got these and I also I'm seeing creatures you cannot imagine and bats. And so when you say, look in the sky, you're just deceiving the world. Just like when you had that Oswald and that Orwell stupid stuff in the past, leading people on a wild goose chase, not finding anything, or that, you know, that false Betty broadcast, Oswell. People were all believing that we were invaded just based on his mass hysteria and fantasy and drama. They were, they were, they did it at radio broadcasts and told everyone we run invasion. And people started running out of their houses, freaking out. It was created mass hysteria. Once you can get into the mind where the mind controls everything, our thoughts are, and it's, you're getting into the, the gateway to the soul. And when you can create a beast that lets everyone on the planet be controlled by these new towers and things, you have lost your soul or you have given your soul i can't say what god will do to your soul on the other side but um the reason all of these things i started writing stories and later the stories i wrote became reality i wrote a story about this this guy digging in a mine in death valley finding um what he thought was the old fossil of a dragon dr dragon bones next thing you know there's a, the devil comes from his wake. It was where I wrote about Satan being cast down. No story had ever been written or any movie about where they cast Satan down. Well, I was the first one to do it. It became reality. All these things started happening after I wrote it. I was the first person ever set uh, a horror story in the Appalachian Mountains, too. And it was all about people's beliefs in, in the in, back in the old days. And I just think that as long as people have these towers and they surrender their free will, that they're going to perish and the world is going to completely crumble. Because now that the people that could make a change are all possessed and 